Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 unboxing and first look. Okay guys, so if we flip the box over and have a look on the back and you can see here that we've got the Surface Pro 3 Intel Core i3 processor, 64 gigs and it has the 4 gigabyte of RAM. Just under that as well it says includes Microsoft Surface Pro 3 Windows 8.1 Pro one month trial new Office 365 customers. Okay guys, so let's get to the unboxing. So we should be able to just lift the tab here on the side. So that tab comes off just like so. Pop that under the bottom and we should be able to just slide it straight out. So there we have it, the Microsoft Surface Pro 3. And if we want to take off the take off the uh, plastic cover and there it is there and we'll just pop that aside and we'll go through the rest of the box first okay so in the middle here we have the instructions and probably some warranty information so let's slide that off and open that up there so Surface Pro, so just telling you how to get your Surface uh, Pro pen ready. Shows you some instructions on the pen there. I'll show you, shows you the different levels of how your Surface Pro uh, kickstand operates. And some more settings and features there. Tells you what all the buttons do on the side of the Surface Pro. And anything else. Just how to change the batteries for the pen at the end. And that's it. Okay, so what have we got here? So we've got a pen here. Yeah, it's pretty neat. A little stylus pen where you can draw on the Surface Pro. And we also get just the battery for it. Okay, so that's the battery that it mentioned before. On this side, a little lid flips up. Let's have a look here. Pull that out. And got the what seems to be the power cord Ooh, it's getting a bit stuck there okay so we've got the power cord there with the Australian adapter on it and the little magnetic uh, power adapter piece at the end there we've also on the power brick here we've got a USB plug so you can plug in like your um, Windows Phone or your iPhone or any other um, any other device that uses uh, USB power and that plugs into the other end of your power supply there okay and if we go back to the stylus pen here you can actually just unscrew we want to install the uh, battery for the stylus so we can just unscrew the top of the pen here okay and as you slide it out it gives you some little instructions there uh, how to screw and unscrew the uh, pin and what we want to do is put the battery in the pin like so and then slide it in and screw it up if we can screw it up like so that battery should be good to go Got our little buttons on either side there. Next thing we'll do is we'll unbox the keyboard here. So we've just got the tab on the other side, or the type cover, as it's, as it's mentioned. And just pull the plastic off the top, like so. Comes out. And you have some designs here which shows you how to use the keyboard. Right, have a quick look at the keyboard. So it's got a really nice uh, wider trackpad on the Pro. Typing seems to be quite nice, the keyboard seems to be quite responsive. And flip it over, just got the Surface logo there. Okay guys, so first things first, let's plug the uh, Surface Pro in. You can see we've got the magnetic power cord at the side there. The little light that indicates the charging. And we're going to start it up. So there's a 
uh, power button at the top there. Just hold that one down. Okay guys, so just setting up the uh, Surface Pro for the first time and you can see here that when it's uh, setting up it's uh, asked us if we want to reserve a free upgrade to Windows 10. So this is out of the box, it's actually asking this uh, right at setup here. So we've got two options down here, we can go not right now or we can hit reserve. So I guess normally if you wanted to upgrade to Windows 10 on your Surface Pro then you would just hit reserve at this stage. Let's try and see what we get here. Okay, so our upgrade, you can see now it says our upgrade is reserved. So I just want to hit finish. Okay, and there we go. So we've started it up there now and we've got the familiar uh, Surface Pro interface. So let's take a closer look at the hardware. So the display on the Surface Pro is a 12 inch display and has a rather large bezel around the outside of it. The 12 inch screen is what Microsoft call a clear type full HD plus screen and it has a resolution of 2160 by 440 with a widescreen aspect which features multi-touch. So what does multi-touch actually mean? Well, if we go into Internet Explorer and just browse to a website and we wanted to use two fingers to multi-touch to basically zoom in on something, then we could actually do that by going through and zooming in uh, on the browser itself. The screen is laminated just like it is on the Surface 3 model and the brightness looks really good. On the top we have a 5 megapixel front facing camera and an LED indicator to let you know when the uh, camera is in use. There is also an ambient light sensor which adapts the brightness of the display and the keyboard. And you can also see here a, mic a front facing microphone which is drilled into the glass of the display. On the left and right hand side of the Surface Pro you will see etched into the glass a stereo speaker. If we turn the Surface Pro 3 over and on the back we have the all magnesium alloy chassis with a ceramic finish which looks really nice. And if we take a look at the bottom of the Surface Pro 3 you can see there we've got the Surface branding. On the top we have a plastic trim which allows better radio Wi-Fi signals through the metal chassis. We also have a 5 megapixel rear facing camera and again an LED indicator which lets you know when the camera is active. And beside that camera is the rear facing microphone. And on the top we have the sleep wake power button. Okay, and if we take a look at the right hand side of the Surface Pro 3, we've got the mini display port, we've got a USB 3 port, which is really nice to have on a tablet. We've also got the magnetic uh, power charger port. Okay, and you can see the lights come up there. And then we've also got this uh, thumb lip area where you can put your thumb in to uh, lift the back of the Surface Pro 3. And if we have a look under the kickstand here, we've got the micro SD card slot. So if we lift the kickstand here, you can see that we've got the Microsoft uh, Windows 8 Pro logo here, along with the Surface um, serial number and uh, the size of the disk space in the Surface Pro. So this one here is the 64 gig. And on the other side, you'll see there's actually a plastic uh, part of the bezel here which uh, is a, I guess is meant to give you a bit more grip. And on the left hand side of the Pro here you can see we've got the headphone jack and the volume up and down button. Take a look at the bottom of the Surface Pro 3 you can see we've got really strong magnets that actually pull the keyboard and attach the keyboard to the device. And as you can see it's quite easy to attach the keyboard to the Surface Pro 3 and the keyboard does actually bend up to give you uh, a better angle to start typing. Now the keyboard doesn't come with the Surface Pro 3 itself, it's actually an optional extra which is $199 and you can see the magnetics of the uh, keyboard clip it to the Surface Pro. The other benefit of this uh, keyboard is when you fold it all the way over it becomes, you can see there, it becomes an actual uh, protective cover for the screen. So the keyboard also has mechanical backlit keys which allow you to see the keyboard uh, or see the keys when you're typing uh, in low lit areas. And if we take a look at the all important kickstand here, the kickstand on the Surface Pro 3 actually does go all the way back so it's a much improved over the Surface uh, 3 uh, model. You can see the angle on it is quite good. So rather than having just three uh, angles which the Surface uh, three has, this kickstand goes pretty much all the way back. And to give you a better idea of positions from the side, 
we can make the changes here of the Surface Pro kickstand. Now the keyboard itself I do find it quite easy to type with, don't have any problems. The keys are actually quite large, uh, or the keys, the individual keys themselves are quite large, and the mouse pad is uh, good enough for uh, two thumbs are wide enough for two thumbs and easily one finger so so I find I have no problems typing on the keyboard at all. Now folding the keyboard around the back of the Surface Pro disables the keyboard so if you accidentally touch any of the keys it won't type anything on uh, on your tablet itself. Now also if you can see that the once the keyboard is folded back it still leaves enough room here uh, for the camera which is a nice design. So the Surface Pro 3 pen can be used on both the Surface Pro 3 model and also the Surface 3 model and if we start up something like sticky notes we can actually write with the pen itself so if we would go let's say one two three my IT and if you wanted to erase that out you could hold down the uh, button on the pen itself and rub everything out the pen also uh, is magnetic, so it will stick to the side of the uh, Surface Pro, uh, so you can carry it around without, so you can have a, your hands free without needing to carry the um, the pen itself. For those of you that are interested in the Geekbench score, the single core score was fifteen eighty three, and the multi core score was thirty three ninety three. And also for those of you that are interested, we'll actually install something like a Razer Naga uh, gaming mouse. So if we plug in the USB at the side there, and then move the mouse down, see down the bottom there we've got the Synapse, Synapse software which we can install on the Surface Pro 3, which I think is a really cool feature. So that's it from me guys. So this, I think the Surface Pro 3 is a really good option for those of you that are looking for possibly a, a tablet slash desktop replacement. Uh, the Surface Pro does seem to be quite zippy between apps as you can see there and uh, that's pretty much it from me guys. If this was helpful don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye bye.